Hi everyone, let's begin t-test, how we have to perform t-test in Python. So I'm just using same directory, what I have saved earlier also. You can see here, these are the, this is my document folder. And in this document folder, I'm going to Python script. I'm just clicking here, Python script, and here is plot charts. And in this plot chart, I'm going to save my new file. So what I have to do, let me create one of my new file, Python 3. And uh, now you can see this file is open. And now what I have to do, let's say I want to see this bar also. You can, okay, header also. So now what I have to do, this file is untitled. So let me give uh, t-test t-test and today's date we can put today's date also today is 2nd february 2nd february 2020 and uh, let me rename this and what we have to do in this t-test we are going to use independent test also as well as dependent test also and dependent test we are calling it pair test pair t-test also so for this purpose, what we want, let's say, first of all, what we have to do, we will import, we will import NumPy. I have already told you in my previous videos also, NumPy as we have to write NP, right? And uh, after this, what we have to do, we are going to import pandas also, because we are going to use pandas. So here is... Uh, We have uh, just writing this uh, command and pd. So let me, uh, we require this and uh, what we have to do, um, let me toggle bar also. So what I will do, let me run this and let me run this also. And after that, what we require here, uh, scipy.stats. So what I will do, I will write simple here from uh, scipy. I will write scipy dot, dot stats import import. What I want, let's say, if I'm going to running independent t-test, so I'm going to write t-test underscore ind. It shows I am calling only t-test independent. Let me run this also. And uh, again, uh, what else I require? I require this, uh, first of all, uh, we will start this independent t-test. And uh, after that, we are going to require, this one is the relevant t-test also, pair t-test. So first of all, what I'm going to write, let's say, simply I'm just showing you marks underscore, marks underscore before, right, before. Before means without giving them any extra classes to our students, we I want to check what marks they have scored. So marks underscore before, and uh, I'm going to use here is numpy, that is NP. I had already import this uh, directory, this library. And uh, NP, here is, I'm going to write, I'm using this function random. And uh, random, dot normal i'm going to use random dot normal random dot normal and uh, suppose i want to use let's say 1.8 and uh, comma uh, this one is the standard deviation and uh, let's say 0 0.7 and uh, 0 0.7 0 0.7 and uh, i'm i just want only these are the 500 only these are the numbers so i had created this variable marks underscore before np dot random dot normal and this this the, these are the numbers i had defined here and now i want marks after also m a r k s marks underscore let me creating this variable so this these all these values would be in this 
particular variable. So marks after, I'm just writing marks after. And uh, again, the same thing I'm calling, here is np dot and uh, random. np dot random and dot normal dot normal and after that now i am giving let's say this one is the um, standard deviation i am giving let's say 0 0.8 and uh, the same number i am using 500 this is on the basis of the random but i will tell you in this video itself how you have to call your open your excel file where is you had already stored uh, pre and post marks or we can say before and after marks and after that how you have to apply t-test on that particular excel sheet and let me run this and uh, after this what we have to do uh, so let me what i have to do uh, this one is the relevant part also we can do that and uh, just a moment okay fine and uh, now what we have to do um i had stored this so now what i will do t test i'm just creating a one variable and i am writing let's say id id depends on id id is uh, i had given for the independent t test and uh, this is the test underscore I am writing independent t test because uh, that we had already called here from scipy.stats. And now I am just writing here these variables name, those we had created just now, marks underscore before, before, and comma, marks underscore after, marks underscore after. So let me run this. And after that, I just want to print this so you can see here, simply I'm writing t-test underscore id and I would like to run this, what are the values are. So this is our output. So you can see this is our output. You can see here t-test i and d result statistics. This one is the t-test, this one is the p-value 3.6 and I'm in minus 2, 2. So that means that is very, very less than, right? So that is significant statistics we have got and now what i have to do let me this is for the independent t-test and let me i am just i want to call from scipy from scipy uh, dot stats dot stats import 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 i am just writing um after this import uh, t-test t-test underscore r e l that means that means that test that is relevant i mean paired t test i want to call so simply i have to run this thing also simply i would i will run and now what we have to do now again i want to test this t test um, relevant so what i will do t test and uh, I had created this variable. Let's say I'm just writing dependent variable. I mean, because these are this is no test is known as dependent t test. And I'm writing t test underscore. I'm using and after that, what I will do marks underscore before m a r k x marks underscore before marks underscore before. And uh, here is I'm writing here, comma marks underscore same function same 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 i think uh, command is same marks underscore after after right so simply i'm just uh, just 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 i would like to run this and i would like to press this t test underscore dependent dep and i just want to run this and now you can see these are the values we have received so this one is the how we are going to use dependent pair dependent t test and how we are going to use independent t test now this is simply i have shown you through some random numbers but here is now how you have to use this t test by calling a one excel sheet that is already stored where you have your data
So let's say I'm just creating our variable data frame DF I had given, and now I'm using pandas PD. And uh, here is, I have to use read file. I had to uh, use Excel, E-X-C-E-L, Excel. And where is this file? That file should be saved in your same folder. Otherwise, you have to mention complete destination. Where is your directory? And I'm going to use this file. I had already saved in my this folder. I will show you dependent, dependent, and dependent one dot i'm going to use x l s x right and uh, here is uh, i am going to after this i don't let me print this first of all let me run this what is the output is coming i will show you let me run this so now you can see this one is i don't want index column zero this one is the first column i don't require so what i will do simply you can see i mean this is the output of this file total entries are around 39 right and um, and 40 entries are here but first one by default that is zero so i don't want this one is row this one is column i don't require so simply i will use uh, this index underscore column underscore col column equal to zero i don't want use this so simply i would like to run this and now you can see i again now i am printing this so now you can see the changes and now i'm sure you can see that one is the first one is column is now not appearing here because i don't want this column and now what we have to do after this simply i want to see first six rows right so simply i am going to use head right and i would run this and now you can see first six entries we can see here first one two three four five six entries right five entries and now suppose i want to see last six column last six rows or last six uh, um, entries five or six entries so simply i'm going to use df dot tail and i'm going to use this function and simply i'm going to run this <clears throat> after this what we have to do let me Mm, suppose you want to know more about this t test so i'm going to use um okay fine anything suppose you want to know more in depth what is happening in this particular uh, function so what you have to do you have to write help and here is you have to write t test right underscore r e l i just want to see what is this so simply i would press run and now you can see here there is the complete description of this particular test you can see here uh, help on function and these are the arrays a and b these arrays must have the same shape it's, i mean it's not uh, because you had created in variable a more number of entries are more and in this particular variable b you had stored less number of entries so that will not work and because this is the peer uh, t test so we require but in independent t test these entries can be different right because wherever is the sample size can be different so all this complete description is here right so now what i have to do let's say i want to run this t test that is peer t test so what i will do let me create there is the one variable called a and uh, let me create this uh, data frame data frame dot query and uh, here is i am simply i am going to use this is the test and uh, equal to sign then i am i am going to use this one is the b4 first of all i would like to entries those are b4 in this particular uh, a variable and after that i am writing here that is uh, here is it will pick only marks right let me run after that let me write uh, another one also let me write another one also b also i'm just creating and simply i'm going to use df dot query 
and df dot query and i'm going to use the same function test and uh, here is and here is i'm going to use after because i want to pick the values those are the students after getting this class uh, how many marks they have scored and uh, i want to compare this so simply i would write marks marks right and uh, let me run both these things let me run both these things so i'm running this and i would like to run this also and now what i have to do i want to apply this t test and i'm going to use underscore this r e l and i would just like to write a comma b and uh, simply i would like to run this and i would like to print this you can see here these are the values this is the statistics a right here is the test before and test after b the b variable i had put at these values and this is the p value that it shows it is significant so this is my t statistics value 2.3 and this is the p value is 0.027 that means it is significant so you can see here my data was like that you can see first 20 entries in this particular test column these first 20 entries were before before marks and after 21 to 40 these were after marks right so i just want to check whether there is any impact if i had given them extra classes so what they were they had scored in their test uh, these were the marks and after giving some one month extra classes so whether they have improved or not yes in my case in my data set they has they there's the improvement is reflecting so i'm sure you could be able to apply this t test on your data set so that would be uh, and i'm sure t the statistics this one is the i have already uploaded on my playlist i will give you link in my description box so keep watching thank you